All units be advised, Burien County has currently under suit with a red Kia. He is also armed with a firearm. From the state of Michigan oh. to the McDonald's on Michigan Street. It was kind of heart pounding. Tonight, the suspect is dead in what's being called an officer involved shooting following a police pursuit covering two states. He was running shot behind his back at one of the officers. Our team is actively learning new details by the hour on how this started and how it ended. What we know so far. It is a busy night as we come on the air at 6 o'clock. We are continuing to update that breaking news from overnight. We hope you are safe. I'm Joshua Short. And I'm Lauren Moss. We're just getting new info from Michigan State Police about that chase that ended near downtown South Bend. Police confirmed with our team they stopped this man you see on your screen, Joshua Ringle, for a blown brake light. That's when they found out he also had an active warrant for assault. This is new video of that stop from Green Stem Provisioning. You could see the two basically fighting here while another woman is in the passenger seat. Not long after that stop happened, things turned physical. And as the officer tried to tase the suspect, Ringle took out a gun. So let's go to Alex Almanza near downtown South Bend where it all ended. We just talked about what led up to this initial stop. Alex, fill in the blank blanks for us now. Yeah, so right now we're at the corner of Dr. Martin Luther King Boulevard and Madison. Uh, we're just under 24 hours ago, chaos broke out that turned into a pursuit across state lines and turned deadly. What began as a traffic stop in Niles. 71 all units be advised. Burien County is currently in pursuit with a red Kia. Turned into a multi-state police pursuit into Indiana. Right, he's pointing a gun out the window and shooting. Mm -hmm. It began in Niles around 8.30 Wednesday night when 32-year-old Joshua Ringel of South Bend was stopped by police. In the surveillance video, it shows Ringel and an officer fighting. Soon after, Ringel then fled the scene and crossed state lines in a red Kia south on US 933 with multiple law enforcement agencies involved. <laughs> Then it all ended in a chaotic scene just north of downtown South Bend where Ringel crashed into a police cruiser and fled on foot towards the St. Joseph River behind McDonald's north of LaSalle Street. Shots were fired. Oh. Drones, canines, police describe the pandemonium as an all hands on deck situation in order to find the suspect. When it becomes a manhunt, you know, it's, uh, you know, it gets a lot of people involved, um, you know, and, and then, you know, we, we had, uh, by the time our involvement was here, we could get our personnel. We had personnel uh, coming from as far away as, as Fort Wayne to, to do this investigation. Ringel was eventually found dead at the bottom of an embankment near the river. And get this, last night's chase wasn't Ringel's first run in with the law. Back in 2014, we reported that Ringel broke into a home and stole a vehicle. He was chased by police and eventually ditched the car and fled on foot on the campus of Notre Dame. Then he jumped into St. Mary's Lake. Now, almost 10 years later, an almost similar situation unfolding and now ending in his death. And Greenstem is the business that uh, provided us with that video uh, at the uh, that showed the start of the chase. Now, they tell us they want to be very clear that they were not involved in any way with the incident. We actually have a statement uh, from them on our website. You can read that. Just go to our website. Alex Almanza, he's been on this story since it happened yeah. overnight. Get some sleep. Yeah, Alex, thank you.